Yep, so heat number 14 it is here now, and it is Australia against France. This is starting to get a little bit tense now, this Speedway of Nations knockout two here in Manchester. Doyle and Frick, they need a result here, but the, this is a big race for Australia, they can ill afford to slip up here, they must get the five points. Yep, it would do great for the favourite, France can split over here, and it's a great start! Scraping the fence here. Jason Doyle around the outside. Oh, oh Frick comes through as well. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, Berger there. It's not the world champion coming at him, but he goes too wide. Doyle's through. Belega, look at Berger. He comes back at the world champion. Forces Doyle wide. Doyle now squares the corner off. Getting him back to the front. Going to be awfully tight. Doyle on the inside. Berger on the outside. Belega's in third. Max Frick needs a big ride from the back. Here he comes around the outside. Frick. He's pushing hard, oh. but there you go, goes across in front of him, look at the action for third place. Goodness me, we've got one lap to go here, Australia are now on a 4-2, but coming back again, it's Vallejo for third! Gavin Vallejo for France in white, great speedway here, Doyle's going to win the race, but now Frick down to the line for third, Vallejo's oh. held on! Oh, that's a shock, that's a turn up for the Burks, Dimitri Berger road like his life depended on it there, he made the world champion work overtime. And Jason Doyle just about got through to the front, but Belago did sterling work to hold off the real hard, fast Max Frick out the back. That's a shock. Australia are struggling here. Oh, my goodness me. That has done Great Britain a real favour. Yeah. Massive favour for the GB side. Great race, though. Great speedway race, and the way Max Frick had his nose cut off. <laughs> I say.